Hello, I'm David Reeves, and this is the Genesis Science Report. Tonight, we'll talk with Eric Stackelbeck on new Israeli discoveries that affirm the biblical record. We're also taking viewer questions, tackling the subject of clams in Kansas. But first, for decades, satellites have been launched into orbit around Earth to help us communicate and study our planet. We rely on them for weather reports and even to find our way to a new destination using GPS. But now, a new report is out revealing how we've also been using satellites to study penguins. That's right, as part of the UK-based Wildlife for Space project, some European Commission satellites pointed their attention at the ice along the coast of Antarctica. And they made some exciting discoveries. Now, up until this point, researchers were limited by the far below freezing conditions and limited resources. If they weren't able to visually spot penguins, they could sometimes find traces of guana at their nesting sites. But this wasn't easy, since they only nest on barren sheets of ice. Now, although the colonies are smaller than some of the well-known ones, the new satellite mapping technology has observed 11 previously unknown colonies of penguins. Three had been guessed at, but the rest were totally new to us. Now, this brings the known count up from 50 to 61 colonies. Interestingly, some of the colonies were located over 100 miles off the coast on stable ice sheets formed in shallow waters around giant grounded icebergs. Scientists hope to keep an eye on these colonies since many of them are located in areas more susceptible to changing ice conditions. But for now, guess what? This discovery means that the emperor penguin population is at least 5% larger than we had previously guessed. That's science at its best, and it allows us to better understand the behavior, environment, and patterns of some of God's unique creatures. And now it's time for our featured product of the week. My good friend Dr. Timothy Clary's new book is titled Carved in Stone. Geological Evidence of the Worldwide Flood. With an extensive oil industry background, Dr. Cleary utilizes his understanding of oil well and seismic data to see what the rock strata actually reveal about Earth's past. Now, it's a wealth of information. Don't let its size fool you, because I've read this one cover to cover, and I can honestly recommend it to anyone looking to learn more. It's written at a layman's level, but with plenty enough detail to satisfy those who want to dive deeper in the subject of geology and the flood. You can pick up this title and many more resources from the Creation Superstore by visiting creationsuperstore.com or calling 931-212-7990.